how would you go backwards? If I gave you this in scientific notation, you would say, well, what's going to happen is this is going to be 4.36 times, this is 1,000. And I know when I multiply by 1,000, I move the decimal spot, so it's going to be 436. That means move it one time, two times. i got to go one more time, which means I need a zero. So it's 4360. Uh, if it was 4.36 times 10 to the, let's say, fifth power, what would it be? It would be 4.36 times, now 10 to the fifth means we're not multiplying by 1,000, we're multiplying by uh, 100,000 because there's two more zeros there, right? So then what would you have? You would go 1, 2, and then I have to go 3, 4, 5. I need to add some more. So it's going to be 4, 3, 6, 3, 4, 5. Just double check yourself. We start here. We move times 10 to the 5, which means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we get to the end there. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.